Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful ethno or hippie style chandelier earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. You could always ask me anything in the comments as well. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where by the way you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. If you want to skip this intro you definitely could because now, now I have timestamps and you could go directly to the work itself. In description you could also check my second channel with the fast clips. You're also invited to subscribe and hit the bell because in this way you will know when I make new tutorials usually two or three times a week and you will be inspired often. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads. Here I'm also using 8 o beads in yellow and red color matching those two colors. And here I use 6 o beads uh, but uh, you could definitely use similar size pearls or other beads or uh, you could skip them and add Atos instead of the 6 o if you don't have them uh, but I like how this size difference works with these earrings. Here I'm using earring findings this is Nymo nylon thread which is size D the thickness is 0.2 millimeters this is size 10 beading needle you could use size 11 or 12 as well these are scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and what I'm going to take here now are 35 of these beautiful orange beads. So I will take them and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I have 35 beads, it's 7 times 5 it's always good to check one more time, okay? And now I will slide those beads down, like this. And I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is carefully make a knot. Okay, I'm making here a loop and I'm going twice through this loop I've made and I pull and I'm really careful to be between those last two beads because sometimes the loop spreads to the next beads and you should start over. Okay, then I make one more knot and pull. Sorry, I was out of focus for a while. And now guys, uh, this is uh, what I have. Now what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction like this to make this look like a circle and what I'm going to pick up are four of these beautiful yellow beads okay I have my four here and as I'm exiting through one of my orange beads I'm going back through it just like this okay now I have this and what I want to do is to make an additional thread path. I'm going here through these yellow beads. One more time through the next beads. I want to go in this direction through these two yellow beads. In this way I make those two rows lay next to each other. Okay. Then what I want to do is take two more of these yellows and I go back here through this one, through the next orange. You see here I was going around this orange, now I'm going through the next and back in circle. Okay. Then I want to do some repositioning going again through this neighbor two yellows. 
Sorry, this is my tail thread that I will remove in a while. Okay, then I go back here and through the next orange like this and pull. Now I need two more yellows and I want to go back through these two yellows and the orange. And by the way, if you can, in one movement, you could go through the next orange. In this way, you will save time. Okay, because your next step will be to go through this next orange. Okay, then take two, go back through these two yellows and through this orange and through the following just to save time. Okay, like this. Then again, two yellows. Okay. And I'll show you one more time here. And I think you got the idea. You should continue these steps until you have 14 rows of those two beads exiting out of here. Okay, I'll make them 14 and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my 14th bead here. And what I want to do is go one more time, just like this, okay? Now, guys, what I would like to do is flip my work because I like it better when I go from left to right as I'm right-handed. If it's easier for you, go in the other direction, but it's just my, my way to do this. Okay, now I'm going to take here one red a toe. And I'm going to take five yellows. Okay, I have my five here, five of them. And as I'm exiting through this red one, I'm going through it again, you see. But this time I'm going through the neighbor yellow. So I'm exiting out of this yellow, as you may see the thread, and going back through the red and through the neighbor yellow. Okay, now I have this beautiful loop of beads here. Then I go in the opposite direction through the next yellow. And what I need to take is one eto, slide it down. And this time, guys, I'm going to take seven yellows. Okay seven with two more at each step i will add two more until i reach the center of my work okay and i'm doing the same thing exiting out of one of the yellows going through the red and back through the neighbor yellow okay then i'm here and guess what i'm taking one red and nine yellows okay Nine. Here I just reached the center and here I'm going to add 11 yellows. Okay. I have 11, 11 beads on my needle and I'm going to slide those down just like this and I will go back through the red one. Okay, now I reach the center and from here on probably you could guess what's coming up next. Here I'm going to add nine beads. I will decrease, since I reach the center, I will start decreasing. Mm -hmm. 
Then I will take seven. Okay, and here I'm adding my last beads. One red and five yellows, like I did before. Sliding those down again, like I did before. Now I will skip those yellows, go through the red, and go through the far wing. Okay, like this. Okay, guys, and now what I want to do is go here through 11 beads. This is because I, here I have 22 beads left. And here is, if it's tight, you could use your pliers here. Maybe there is the knot where I'm going. That's why I needed to use it. Okay. So I need to go through 11 beads here. Okay, I'm exactly through 11 beads. And here what I need to take is just one bead to add it here. And this is where I'm going to attach my earring finding later. Okay, now I'm coming here. And what I want to do, guys, is add a yellow, an orange, a yellow 8 -o, a red 6 -o, or if you have a pearl or a bead to replace it, a yellow, an orange, and a yellow. You could definitely put here in the middle 8 -o if you want, but with the 6 -o, I think it looks better. And then I'm going in the same place, but from this side. Okay. Just like this. Now, guys, I'm going to continue with my work here. And what I need to go to do next is go back here. Don't worry, you skip this orange. I think there is no problem. Okay, now I go here through these two yellows. And I'm taking three orange beads. And I skip this one and go through the following. Then I'm going to take one and I go here. Then I'm going to take three again. Okay, three. Skip the one that's in the center here. Just like that. And here I need to add two beads. And go here through this one that is just next to the one that's sticking out the most. And then take three. Okay then two again go through the one that's just next to this that's sticking out the most and add three again okay and i'm doing one and the same thing everywhere the only difference is that here in the beginning i will add only one orange bead and here i will add two okay i'll show you faster Okay, now I have this and I will go up here to add my earring finding. If uh, this all was too fast for you, 
uh, you could slow it down or just repeat the first part up to the center here from this part by seeing it with rewinding the video. Okay guys, and here I am at the top and I want to add my earring finding and in order to add it I'm taking two beads going through it take two more and go back through this one at the top in circle so when I pull guys I have this and I'm going to reinforce this part here Now guys, I will go through all of those beads because I have two more rows to make here. Okay, I will reach up to here and I'll be back. Okay, and I went through all of those beads from here to here, but somewhere here was my knot, so I was using my pliers and I didn't want to make you watch me do this. Okay, so now I take three seed beads and as I'm exiting from the first orange I'm going here through the other orange just like this and this orange will pop up a little bit from this side okay then I will go here through this orange and I'm going to add this time five red beads Okay, I have here five. I skip the one that's on the top of my work and I go through the following two in this direction. Then I go through all of those because I want to exit in the same place. One bead before this that is sticking out the most and I want to add five. K5. Now I skip this one and go here. Okay guys, and now off camera I will add 5, 5, 5 and I will go back for the last one. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last 5 beads. And here at the end, I will add just three beads. This is a simple symmetry because here I have two. I will add, uh, sorry, three. I will add three as well here at the end. Okay, now I have this. And I will go one more time through those beads. If you can't go through this, go through this. I know we've been too many times through all of the beads, but this is how it works. Okay, so now I will go here in the central row. By the way, you could leave it like this if you want, if you like it better. But now I will add one more row with yellow beads. It's not obligatory. Uh, well, guys, I'm not sure in which variation it looks better. Maybe this one, maybe this one. I'm showing it with this yellow edge at the end but if you prefer you could definitely leave it like this okay uh, so how I do this last edge I go through those beads here I'm exiting out of the red and here I add two beads and I go in the red just going through all of the reds and adding 
and yellow edge of beads okay here again I need two go like this and here I will need three Okay guys and here I will add two and one more time two and when I make my knots my earring will be ready. Okay and I will make my knot here. How I do this? I make a loop and I go once then I go second time through this loop I've made and then I pull making sure I'm between those beads that I started my loop from and my knot from and I'm going in the next seed bead or in the next several beads and I'm cutting my thread and now my hippie chandelier earrings are ready okay guys so now my hippie chandelier earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button in this way you will be inspired often usually two or three times a week and you will have a new beading inspiration down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.